Hi, I'm Dr. Natalia Gwynn, and I'm going to show you how we do an at-home antigen COVID test with my son. And I know that I've already been exposed to anything he's been exposed to, so I don't have a mask on. But if you're running the test on someone who you have not been in close exposure to, and you want to keep it that way, make sure that you wear a mask and have them wear a mask except during the time that you're actually administering the test. So the at-home test includes the directions, which are very clear, so make sure and look at this before you go ahead and start so that you're clear and you've got everything laid out. So you have the swabs. You're only gonna need one, but you have an extra one in case you drop it or it gets contaminated. You don't have to wear, you don't have to wear uh, gloves, but I do recommend that you wash your hands so that you don't risk cont contaminating the specimen as well. And here we have two tests. We're just gonna run one for him today. So you have your tube, your swab, and you have the test card. You okay, baby? Okay. All right. So we make sure that he's comfortable and that he's aware of what I'm going to do so that he doesn't move quickly and doesn't risk hurting himself. You can see he's coughing, so we need to make sure that we run the test at a time when he's comfortable because the swab is going to need to go three fourths inches into his nasal cavity and we're going to turn it five times. Make sure that your kids don't blow their nose or clean out their nose right before doing this because you actually want to be able to catch that mucus if it's there. Ready, baby? So stay nice and still for me. Look at one point, okay? Now we take our tube, we are to tap it twice, then we open it. You don't need to shake it. You take the swab with sample, goes directly in. Try not to hit the sides too much because you want the sample to go all the way to the bottom. And you turn 15 times. So I'm on five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now this part's important. You are going to take the swab and lift it up just slightly to the area where you pinch. And you're going to pinch and twist there to get any more of the sample off before removing this and discarding it in the container it came in so that we don't spread any more virus or other bacteria. We put the top of the tube back on. Again, we don't need to shake. We get our test card ready. Try not to touch inside either of these areas, again, so we don't contaminate it. We're going to open our tube that has our specimen in it, just the very top. Make sure to include your kids so this is something fun and interesting for them instead of something scary, right? And then we do three drops. One, two, three. Now it may immediately start to move and show you if you have one line or two, but you need to give it up to 15 minutes. So we go ahead and we set an alarm for 15 minutes to make sure that we don't forget. Come sit with me, we'll watch it. Now one line will mean a negative result. Two lines will mean a positive result. And keep in mind that the second line might be very faint. That still counts as a positive result. Now, we did a test two days ago, 
Now I'm going to show you what that card looks like. This one, as you can see, my son has a cold, but his test was negative. There's only one line. And as we wait here, we see no lines. And we're going to check back in 15 minutes to see if we have one line or two. If we have one line, he just has a different cold, but does not have COVID. If there's two lines, then it's COVID. Keep in mind that even if he doesn't have COVID, if he's sick, he should stay home from school and keep his friends and classmates safe. Take care.